easy. You can follow House of Three Thousand on Twitter yeah. and learn and get the link for whenever it's finished uploading. I mean, Three, two, <laughs> anyways, getting into this next game, Dark Falcon versus um Chris. Just, yeah, just Chris. Chris. <laughs> All right, we had Tom, and now we have brother Chris. Like, let's go. I look forward Having... to top eight of all normal names. We're gonna have Tom, yeah, waiting, Chris, for... Adrian, Michael, uh, <laughs> Henry, uh, Sam. My name. Sam. <laughs> like, it's gonna be great. Yeah, we got a John in there. Ooh, John, yes, George, oh. perfect. All right, I'm done with this. <laughs> Um, anyways, already had a very even start to this game. Just, we love, don't you know how much we love this character, Game & Watch? Just doing their Game & Watch things. Just love it. Yeah. It's so it's so amazing <laughs> to watch them do all of their shenanigans and just, you know, yeah. detecting a Drop little bit of bomb. animosity from here. I'm Wait, not no, sure where it's coming from. <laughs> no, see, no, I just really, I really enjoy it because, Ooh, you know, it's, it's my favorite thing to see. It's my favorite thing to see this character that has such a versatile, you know, set of moves because in one minute they're a chef and the next minute they're using a turtle to just attack you and sending the little fishies on you. Just, it's just so amazing to see. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, the classic, is. the classic Game & Watch game plan of like, uh, what is it? Really prominent edge guarding, a very safe neutral, all of that good stuff really difficult to play against Belmont's. Belmont's a premier counterfeit character in this game and one of the this might be one of their better top tier matchups as they never have to worry about Game & Watch's out of shield game which is part of what game, makes Game & Watch so anti-meta is that he can escape effectively any block string. Uh, not against not against Belmont though he can still edge guard them. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you it's the turtle. It's the, the turtle is very scary. Yeah, tiny turtle. It, I mean, tiny turtle. See, Squirtle. Look, squir <laughs> Can we get a mod that puts Squirtle as Game & Watch's back air? <laughs> uh, thank you, Tim Kage, for the 50 cents. Towards Macharino. Uh, yeah. Even f -tilt, as close as that f -tilt was, up B still didn't connect, which is pretty big, because that's not only one of Game & Watch's like, best ways to get out of disadvantage, it's one of his more premier combo starters, so just not being able to hit Belmont is pretty is pretty prominent. So long as Dark Falcon doesn't use uh, use things like cross and axe too much and get stuck get uh, caught in their end line. I mean, honestly, at this point, it looks like Dark um, Dark Falcon has been taking a really they're really like blue time just trying to get out of you know the corner and just making it so that it's really hard for Chris to just get this lead back. I wouldn't be surprised if we just saw um, Dark Falcon just live until a extremely high percent and just kill Chris. I mean, he already passed the percent. I was going to say 30%. I feel like Dark Falcon could kill him, but, you know, that up is a little, a little, mm. It's hard to mess with, but he's got plenty of moves. Trying to go for the down to one setup where you can get down to one and grab on ledge with uh, Belmont forward throw, then it is a, it's a pretty good, pretty solid kill throw. So you don't need to do too much in this situation. Everything is all on Chris for any sort of uh, comeback. And 141, it's not looking like it's happening, particularly with since Game Watch is so light. So, I think that's so a sad. really dominant game one from uh, uh, from Wild, and excuse me, from Dark Falcon. There's two, two Belmonts in a Xeno. But I mean, I'm going to be very honest. This is something that I, I feel that is not really explored enough just because, you know, Bel the Belmonts, they have the Holy Fire, but the you holy can just... Water. It, oh, holy... I'm... What? I don't know. How, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, they have their Holy Water and not too many people actually, like, use the Holy Water enough because I feel like you can kind of just do... There's some crazy shenanigans with it. You, you, it's like PK fire on crack. Not as spammable, but definitely has a lot more shiftiness to it. You can throw, being able to throw it at multiple different angles is, uh, you know, it's pretty good, whether it be uh, in the air or on the ground. Makes it very tricky to uh, 
It's very tricky to get around, though, namely Belmont's trying to use that whip to keep him at a distance as one hit can lead into something uh, something like that. 47. Already, aren't you after that? Yeah. But it's definitely going to be a little bit harder for um, you know Chris to keep on getting in against this character. Because just like any other character you see, it's just going to be a little bit, you know, tough. Yeah, Chef at ledge. Now uh, Chris can show off a little bit of his own ledge trapping, though these down smashes have been been getting punished pretty routinely. Very nice up yet. Right. Matchup knowledge, everybody. He knew. He knew that, hey, Game Watch landed to move on my shield. I should wait for the second one, just in case. <laughs> oh, yee. <yeah. laughs> Take this indeed as the bottom whiffs completely. <laughs> Alright, setting setting back up perfectly fine. Uh, he's resolving his uh, to more normal uh, sort of ledge traps, not going for any uh, any obvious uh, trickier kill setups because Game and Watch won't be living much longer regardless. Uh, one grab will do it. One F tilt. One not I guess not F tilt at that uh, at that stage positioning. Though this is definitely showing the counter. The counterpoint of why taking zoners to Smashville may not be such a good idea, particularly ones as active as Belmont. They dominate stage that much easier, and it's really giving Chris nowhere uh, nowhere to move. He has to fight for every inch. In doing so, he does manage to take that uh, take uh, Dark Falcon's first stock. And the easier the better. 49. Wow, Chef is so crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that um, Game & Watch's bucket has um, reflector properties, if I remember correctly. It does. It and does. we see, we've seen that Chris has tried to use it before. I'm just not sure if he has, or if they've tried to use it as just a neutral option as well. I mean, you know, seeing as how it's looking like a little, I mean, they're at an even percent now, but if anything, it gets a little bit harder to um, play, not, oh. A B, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kill off the top. Wait for that. Confirms. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of where uh, that's where Dark Falcon has decided to try and take his punish game. Should he get the chance, especially with all the uh, raw down smashes coming out on ledge from Chris, he can safely nice jump nice. and then go for these landing downers and get all of the reward. Yeah, that being said, this game is certainly much, much closer. Chris has been very, uh, been a lot more potent on his offense in a lot of ways, uh, going out for deeper edge guards, making sure that uh, all, like, make, knowing that all it takes is one hit to make, uh, to make Belmont just fold completely. Honestly, I mean, Belmont's are not at that percent yet. Wow, you're but, dead. Oh, right. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways, taking that game uh, 2 0, you know, we just see Dark Falcon just removing the, the brethren from the line of play. You know, we have Tom, who's probably in losers right now, if I remember correctly, and then now we have Chris. Is there anybody else we're missing? Are we missing no, Brandon? Just, or, uh... just the two. <laughs> just the two. <laughs> At least for now. Still, that's like that was so much coverage coming uh, on the end of that stock. Like F, back air to throw him off stage, F tilt to cover the the F tilt to cover the ground in front of him, holy water to cover ledge. But he makes him want to go high because going to ledge against going to ledge at kill percent against Belmont is a recipe for disaster. But you go high and you get caught by axe, which kills the earliest out of any item. Like it's it's a vortex and it's a minefield. But it's one that you have to navigate through in order to get at the, the squishy interior that is the man. <laughs>